is one devilish controversy, a statue being unveiled right here in Detroit. But the group putting on this date with the devil is keeping some things a secret for now. 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones here with a strange story, and this is strange. Very strange. Some have called this a publicity stunt, guys. Others say that it's just purely sinister. Whatever you want to call it, the group putting it on says you can't stop it. From the moment it was announced, religious leaders have fought to keep this nine-foot, one-ton symbol of Satan from setting foot in Detroit. They've prayed, they've protested. Gather together to stand as one unified voice against this demonic spirit. But the devilish statue is still on its way, now planned to be unveiled this Saturday at an undisclosed location somewhere in Detroit. The event is being put on by the Satanic Temple, a group that first wanted to unveil the statue at Burt's Warehouse in Detroit. But when patrons started to complain, Burt's backed out, and event planners looked for a new venue. On its website, the temple insists it's not a religious group and believes in the pursuit of knowledge and freedom of will. That includes, they say, the freedom to offend. And the statue is more than offensive to many. It was created in response to a monument of the Ten Commandments placed here on the grounds of the state courthouse in Oklahoma City. Ultimately, the temple says that's where they want to place their nine-foot statue permanently. But first comes Saturday night's unveiling, and if you're looking to get in some face time with Satan, the temple would love to have you. The party promises dancing and music starting at 8 p.m. Tickets start at 25 bucks. But if you'd like to get your picture taken on the satanic symbol's lap, that will cost $50 more. Turns out the freedom to offend isn't very free at all. So to prevent people from protesting the event venue, the organizers are not announcing where the unveiling will take place until the day of the event. Ticket holder, holders, we are told, will be notified via email sometime Saturday. All right. Oh, wow, Ross. That's... Yeah, wow is a good word for it. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Indeed. Thank you.